You know, look, we use a lot of water, even when we're doing our best to conserve. We often think of the suburbs, watering lawns and washing cars, but our cities use a lot of water, too. And as you're going to see, a San Francisco company is employing advanced technologies to turn entire high-rise buildings into water-saving machines. With the view from this San Francisco rooftop, you can actually see the future of recycled water. This is not theoretical. This is not something in the future. It's happening right now. It's happening here. It's happening in the chorus building where we're going to be operating that system. And it's also happening in a third building right on the other side of here. Aaron Tartakovsky is co-founder of Epic Cleantech. The company is harnessing the used wastewater from high-rise buildings and giving it a second life with a dizzying array of technologies. So we're taking that wastewater and we're turning it into clean water. We're turning it into high quality soil amendments and then we're actually turning it into energy. At the heart of the system, a control center that monitors everything from the amount of energy being saved to the amount of wastewater being recovered. Ryan Pulley is director of water reuse operations. We take water that looks like this as it comes into our system and then we take it through our process and it comes out this way. And while the company says the water is more than pure enough to drink, by state regulations, it's currently used only for applications ranging from toilet flushing to irrigation to cooling laundry systems. But the materials removed from the water itself continue on through the system. A thresher-like machine actually employs a chemical process to turn the solid waste that's squeezed from the water into an ultra-rich soil, all in the company's rooftop R&D facility. In about 20 minutes, convert it from a wet, smelly waste into a dry, odorless, pathogen-free product that's actually amazing for plants. Samples are on display in the company's garden, on site, as are toilet-shaped planters and other reminders of the closed-end strategy that the company says can help buildings reuse up to 95% of their wastewater. But rather than celebrating its early success, the company is using its own recycled water beer to demonstrate the possibilities ahead. We make beer out of recycled water because we're trying to change the conversation. We're not just trying to introduce new technologies. We're actually fundamentally trying to help people rethink how our communities handle water. With three major projects either completed or in the works in San Francisco, the company it believes their strategy is already at a tipping point. Later this year, California is scheduled to unveil new, updated regulations for what's known as direct potable reuse, for the first time allowing agencies to convert recycled water directly into drinking water. Cheers. Cheers. Or perhaps maybe someday, beer. Maybe. And the opportunity here really is enormous. Epic's co-founder, Aaron Tartakovsky, says that buildings worldwide use roughly 14% of the available potable water, and very few recycle any of it at all. Mm. So that could change.